Good morning from day three here in Japan with Singapore Airlines and Fly Scoot. Today we're at Lake Toya. We're already at stop number one for the day. It's a two hour drive from Sapporo. It's a two hour drive from downtown area in Sapporo. This is basically a beautiful lake with mountains that are actually volcanoes, volcanic mountains. And their latest eruption was as recent as 2000, only 19 years ago. They do have predictions to make sure that the tourists over here and the people over here in general are safe so you don't have to be worried about visiting here in fact you should because this is so beautiful and it's like a painting I do think it's worth coming here considering it's a two-hour drive just because it's so beautiful and the place has so much history to it I'm so grateful that we have a guide over here because Thomas San is telling us all about the history and the culture and things that obviously we wouldn't know if we didn't have her here language is a little bit of a problem in Japan so just keep that in mind when you're coming and I would recommend getting a guide if you can look around me the place is absolutely pretty so so beautiful I actually managed to get a couple of pictures because there were slightly lesser people when we came in I'll go ahead and show you some of those pictures over here but it does get very very busy with tourists so if you're coming try and time it in a way that you might have slightly lesser people where today is actually a Sunday so there was bound to be people I guess um, we've been here for a little bit now we're actually about to get back into the car and head over to stop number two I like how good our itinerary is I like how we're getting to see so much but we're not like over spending time everywhere which would not make sense so make sure you plan your itinerary for Japan well in advance which is also something you'll need to do for the visa by the way because if you're applying for a tourist visa they will want to see your itinerary beforehand so I guess it's a good thing that you have to do your research in advance okay time to get back into the car and uh, about a 15 minute drive to stop number two okay so we are at stop number two this is just the other side of the lake actually it's not like a different place but do you notice the india flag here i absolutely had to start with this little bit and i always feel so happy and proud when i see the indian flag outside india we're basically at the other side of the lake because this is where you have a leisure boat ride experience and that is what we're about to do we're about to get onto a boat um, that leaves in the next five to seven minutes and it's a really like I feel like both sides of the lake are really pretty you can chill sit in the grass there's a lot of park area over here where you could really like just sit and make the most of your time obviously we have a bunch of things that we need to finish off and today and tomorrow are basically our last two full days because the day after tomorrow we only have about one third of the day before we have to head to the airport so we're on an itinerary um, but if you're coming here by yourself or have the liberty of like just taking time off as and when you feel like and if you have more days in hand more importantly I highly recommend sitting around and doing nothing in some of these parks. I love park culture. You guys know that about me. I've been saying that for a while and I love that um, I love that internationally so many places just have like this really great park culture and Japan is one of them. So yeah, make the most of these parks when you're here. <laughs> called Wakasaimo which actually is also a convenience store they have like a whole lot of shopping downstairs and a cafe there's another restaurant up on the first floor and we're at a different one over here on the first floor um, we just went through the menu by the way yes I have changed into my second outfit for the day I'll show you a picture of it over here I have been changing fairly often at least once a day just to make sure my pictures don't get repetitive with the outfits here's what the menu looks like we just ordered lunch I'm having a portion of mixed tempura with different seafoods and vegetables and then I'm doing some prawns I'm so predictable I love it but I'm just so predictable um, time to eat food also a girl got her period over here first thing in the morning so extremely bloated not really cramping but definitely in a little bit of pain but we gotta do this i'm gonna distract my mind with all the fun travel 
and I'm gonna show you what the food looks like once it comes. haven't seen my Instagram post Mount Usu is actually one of the five of the that's so basically there's 13 active volcanoes in Japan out of them five are in Hokkaido Mount Usu is the one we saw on the other side from Lake Toya some time ago and we're about to take a cable car ride that looks like this and go all the way up to Mount Usu don't worry it's very very safe um, and obviously the um, the geologists always make sure that um, it's the weather is well looked after there's they let you know if there's a sign for eruptions and all of that so we're about to take this cable car ride So two seconds after we reached the top of Mount Usu's ropeway, it started to rain, which is why I'm currently holding an umbrella. It's still very, very beautiful, of course, but it's very rainy. In a way, it's probably something I don't mind because there was this whole deck was full of tourists and now it's empty. We're the only ones here because we were the only ones that carried our umbrella. Um, but it's just a really pretty place to be at. You get to see so much of Hokkaido from the top. You get to see so much of this particular area from the top. And uh, you can see how absolutely stunning it looks. Plus, of course, the beautiful significance of the fact that you're basically on a mountain that is a volcano. You're on a currently inactive but usually active volcano they're saying it's safe for the next eight to ten years to come back and try to visit this place after that you need to start checking um, with the research and with updates to make sure that you can still visit this site because there is usually an eruption around here every 25 to 30 years and it's been 19 years so far from the last one okay it's dark right now but basically once you come down from the mount usu rope experience this is you're inside a four volcano of sorts and they basically show you like a volcano experience um there's little tvs over here i don't know if you guys will be able to tell right now but it'll come on in just a second Okay, so the next stop for the day, interestingly enough, is right next to where you get onto the cable car from. We're about to go into the bear park. Now, this is a really popular place. The bears are in their natural habitat. You get to just go see them. They're in a park. I think you can also feed them. I'm not sure about that. We'll find out once we go inside. Um, this is our almost last activity for the day because the drive back is about two, two and a half hours. There are trains and buses that get you here, but since we have a car, we're making the most of it. Hi guys, so I've been inside the bear park for about 15 minutes now. I thought that the park would be extremely natural. Um, but actually the bears are kept in um, in like caved sanctuaries I'm all for supporting and conserving wildlife and just helping preserve their longevity their life increasing lifespan um, helping them stay as naturally as as close to their natural habitat as possible but this is definitely not their natural habitat I'm not a fan of this place I have extremely not great feelings about this place just being extremely honest and transparent with you over here um, I will show you guys glimpses as we go along of what the place actually is like but you guys know what I feel like um, we've been here for about 15 20 minutes I think it's time to leave basically they let you buy cookies wheat cookies non sugar cookies when you enter in and uh, people come here kids come here to throw the cookies at them which is all nice and sweet but it's not in nature you know what I mean like if this was happening in nature in the lap of nature it was very different here I just feel like they're sort of um, 
I just feel like they're prisoners of human entertainment and I don't, I just can't support that. I've been here for about 15-20 minutes but I think it's time to leave. It's time for dinner and guess who just died and went to heaven. This is where we're eating tonight. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go inside really quickly. I'm like, I was hungry already and I'm starving even more now. amazing amazing dinner back at the hotel took a lovely hot shower and I'm tucked into bed I think one of the things I've really loved about this entire Japan trip um, three and a half days that we've got so far has been our days start early in the morning we usually meet downstairs by around 8 8 30 um, 7 30 also actually once so it means I wake up early so I'm usually up at like 6 30 ish and I'm in bed now by like 10 which is great because this is like this is my ideal schedule I love it um, this these past three four days that we've got in Japan where we've actually gone exploring in and around Sapporo Hokkaido have been actually really really great I can't believe that this trip has just flown by so fast because tomorrow is our last day here I'm not really counting day after tomorrow in my head because we only have like one third of the day in the morning and then we head straight to the airport from outside once we check out in the morning post breakfast. Um, I don't know if I'm also going to be able to vlog because there's going to be so much happening on that day. I'll try and squeeze it in into tomorrow's vlog. But uh, today was so so good. It was not too hectic. The travel to our drive took up a lot of the time. So we had a few activities, uh, some that I really liked. I told you guys my views on the bear park already. Um, but I think that it was just a really good day and the crab place dinner was just it knocked the ball out of the park for me um you guys know how much i love seafood and you know how much i love crabs and over here a lot of the uh, non-veg food is skewed towards pork like the ramen everywhere was pork and even the ramen that was not pork was in pork broth and the vegetable ramen was very okay for me so i feel like with food i've mostly leaned towards seafood on this trip which is great i'm not complaining loved it loved everything i had so far maybe except that one little ramen dish tomorrow actually we're headed for some really interesting food places that uh, tomo san was telling us about and i'm excited to go try those out for now i'm going to go sleep and before i go to sleep i'm going to remind you to hit that subscriber button hit that bell button keep coming back for more videos i love you guys very very much see you in the next one good night